Today, we've got an exciting topic to explore Forex trading. If you've ever wondered what it's all about, or felt a bit intimidated by the term, you're in the right place. We're going to break it down in a simple and informative way, so stick around. What is Forex trading? So, what exactly is Forex trading? Well, it's short for foreign exchange, and it's the global marketplace where currencies are bought and sold. Think of it as a giant bazaar where different countries' currencies are exchanged. Currency pairs now, currencies are traded in pairs. For example, the euro against the US dollar EUR USD. The first currency is the base, and the second is the quote. The exchange rate tells you how much of the quote currency you need to buy one unit of the base currency. Bid and ask prices when you're in the Forex market, you'll come across two prices the bid, and the ask. The bid is what someone is willing to pay for a currency pair, while the ask is what someone is willing to sell it for. The difference between these prices is known as the spread. Please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like so we can continue for more content like this. Leverage now, let's talk about leverage. This is where things get interesting. Leverage allows you to control a larger position with a smaller amount of money. It can amplify both profits and losses, so it's crucial to use it wisely and understand the risks involved. Market participants who participates in Forex trading. Well, it's not just individuals like you and me. Banks, corporations, governments, and financial institutions all play a role. Even central banks can influence currency values through their policies. Trading platforms How do you get started? You'll need a trading platform provided by a broker. These platforms offer tools for analysis, order execution, and position management. It's like having a dashboard for your currency trades. Market hours Unlike the stock market, Forex is open 24 hours a day, 5 days a week. The market is divided into sessions Asian, European, and North American. This constant availability is due to the global nature of currency trading. Speculation and hedging Why do people get into Forex trading? Well, some do it for short-term profit, trying to predict price movements, while others use it for hedging against currency risk in international business. You can trade not only currency pairs, but also stocks, gold, oil, commodities, and CFDs freely. And there you have it. A simplified overview of forex trading it might seem complex at first but with the right knowledge and strategy it can be a fascinating and potentially rewarding venture if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this until next time happy trading